Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards. What are your person's feelings for the third party? What are your person's feelings for the third party? Now, this third party is going to be on their side. And if you know that your person is not involved with any third party, then this reading is not going to be for you. This reading is going to be only for you Tauruses who know that your person is with a third party or if you suspect it or if you have reason to believe that it's true, that it's that they have a third party, then this reading is going to be for you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone. But if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's see. What are your person's feelings for the third party? All right, Taurus, first card we have here is the Five of Swords in Reverse, the Nine of Swords in Reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse, the Ten of Swords in Reverse, the Page of Pentacles upright, and the Death card upright. At the bottom, we have the Page of Wands. Okay, let's take a look. Taurus, I do feel like this person, um, um, I feel like your person feels unfinished business with the third party here. And I feel like um, your person wants to maintain um, a relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic though, because we have the Page of Pentacles here, which doesn't always represent ro romantically it could just be friendship and I, I kind of feel it in that way i feel like this person i feel like your person wants to at least maintain um a friendship relationship with the third party however i do feel like the third party is kind of um leaving them with the death card Yeah, I feel like the third party is kind of feeling upset with your person. They're feeling um, angry with them. They're holding some kind of grudge. And I feel like this person is leaving them. However, I feel like your person is trying to avoid, avoid this ending with them. I feel like your person wants to at least have a, a relationship of friendship, you know. And I feel like your person is extending out an apology to them, trying to make peace with them. Hmm. All right, let's do a little clarification, okay? I feel like your person feels guilty for something they did to them. Yeah, and they're trying to they're trying to make it right with them. All right, let's let's see what this is about. Spirit angels and guides, tell me about the page of pentacles here.
All right, we have the Ace of Swords and we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is what I was saying about trying to at least have a relationship of friendship because I feel like your person is not offering commitment to them. Ace of Swords means that your person is telling them some sort of truth um, about, well, I don't know if it's about that, but they're telling them some sort of truth here. Um, and I feel like the third party is not really liking it. They don't like what this person has to say, what your person has to say to them. And I feel like your person's not offering any commitment to them. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. That would that would be the the third party, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The Four of Wands in reverse and the World card in reverse. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, so yeah, the third party is upset because they do want a relationship. They want to have, they want to live together, they want to have a, a normal, traditional relationship. But your person is not offering them that. They're only offering um, friendship, basically. They're offering, they're offering the third party friendship. But the third party wants to have an actual relationship, a real relationship, a real commitment. And if your person doesn't offer them that, then I see that they're just going to leave here with the death card and they're going to end things. And I feel like your, your person is upset about that because they don't want to lose them. But at the same time, they're not, they're not willing to offer them any, any type of stable commitment. Okay, interesting. I felt like a little bit of a soap opera there. All right, let's take a look at um, how does your person feel about you, Taurus, okay? Alright, spirit angels and guides, how does this person feel about Taurus? Please show me. Okay, one shuffle. All right, now, in regards to how they feel about you, Taurus, first card we have here is the Two of Cups in reverse. The Nine of Cups upright. The Fool in reverse. The Ten of Swords in reverse. The Nine of Swords in reverse. And the Queen of Wands upright. At the bottom, we have the Three of Cups in Rivers, which is the third party situation. Okay. Mm. Well, this person's definitely... Um, hmm. There being a little bit of a, a bachelor or a bachelorette here. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting the energy of a bachelor or bachelorette. Uh, pl they're playing. Playing that role. There might be a little bit e uh, an energy of ego I'm sensing with your person, okay? I think they... They might think of themselves as more special than they actually are. 
I'm getting that with the Nine of Cups. Like someone who is maybe showing off in some way. Someone who feels proud that they have more than one option. <laughs> okay. Arrogance. I'm getting a little arrogance. Yeah. But in regards to their feelings for you, yeah, they have feelings for you. I don't see them taking you seriously, though, Taurus. I don't see them t taking you seriously. I feel like it's very flirtatious for some reason. I feel it feels more to me like they want to flirt around with you. They want to have fun with you. They want to flirt around with you. Um, I'm not seeing an energy of seriousness or of commitment or stability here coming from them. It, it, to me, it feels like they're just um, having a good time here. I feel like this person is avoiding commitment. Yeah. They're avoiding having commitment. I feel like this person just wants to keep things very casual with the Ace of Wands. They want something that's, you know, passionate, maybe sexual. But they're not looking to get married or to have a family or to start a family, you know. That's what I'm feeling in their energy. Hmm. All right, let's get some cards from the Hidden Truth Oracle deck because I feel like it's appropriate. Again, they have feelings for you. I just, I'm not seeing those feelings being something very deep right now. Or I don't see them taking those feelings and wanting to have a commitment, okay? All right, I have here the Hidden Truth Oracle deck. Let's see. What messages your person would like to say to you? Spirit angels and guides, what messages would this person like to say to Taurus? Please show me. You and I were too young. You and I were too young. I couldn't let you get close to me. I feel you even though we are apart. I am not available. Hmm. Interesting. All right, Taurus, I'm going to end the reading here. So I hope this uh, reading was useful to you. I hope it helped you in some way. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if it resonated. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.